This is Dumb Down Life number 112. I Talking grades of a bone and his shoulders are plenty wide enough to lean on And upstairs he's got it going on after all He is the American dream man He is the ultimate clean man Oh, is the American dream man Ooh. And that was Leslie Hunt with The American Dream Man, taken from the album Your Hair is on Fire. Good evening, uh, good morning, whenever it is you're listening to this. It's Dumb Down Life number 112, I think I said that at the beginning. And uh, today it's me, just down all on my own some, while Lance is out with the Boy Scouts. So I thought I'd um, use this opportunity to issue you a warning. A warning and perhaps an apology. Um, if any of you out there happen to have me listed on your MSN, um, I do owe you an apology, because um, I, it appears that my account has been sending out junk mail. Now the chances are that if you do have me listed on MSN, then you're familiar with how often junk mail gets sent out um, using this system anyway, so you're probably not surprised. Um, but... In this particular case, I know how it was they got my password, and it's my own fault. And I wanted to issue you a warning as to not do the same. Now, if you use the same password for more than one website, there's always the chance that that password will be misused. Uh, in this case, I use the same password for MSN as I do for a lot of others. Um, and obviously at some point either one of these websites has been hacked 
or one of these websites is not um, as genuine as they pretended to be. And so when I've put in my um, MSN email account and uh, as, the, as the point of contact, they've then put that with the password that I've given for that website and they're able to get it straight into my MSN, into my Hotmail and, and whatever. Now, thankfully, I don't use Hotmail that often, so um, I've not got a huge amount of contacts on there. Um, but, sure enough, if I look in the sent items, I can see that I've sent probably about 80 email messages out to people, um, which were all fraudulent emails. Um, Microsoft did catch this problem, and um, they blocked my account, which is quite right exactly what they should do what what i would question is whether um they should have let an email come from a computer in romania in the first place because while microsoft obviously haven't got time to investigate every single message that's sent i was able to look at the the logs on the system and see that all these messages had um, originated from an ip address uh, or computer address that's listed as being in Romania. So I, I would be happy that if I was to leave the country and try seeing an email message that Hotmail should come up and say, the last time you tried sending an email message, you were actually in England. Um, are you really Darren? If so, please tell us and, and ask us a security question. I think that would stop a lot of problems. Um, Certainly other systems do similar kind of checks. So why Hotmail has um, stayed in the dark ages, I don't know. One of the reasons that I've st I've moved away from Hotmail is because it, it is just a big collection of spam. Um, very rarely is it of any use as a, as a proper email system, which is a shame because it, it used to be the de facto um, webmail to go to. But now, if recommending uh, an email system to anyone... I would have to say, go with Google. Here we go. One step at a time, don't be living on the line. I don't need a friend, I got more than on the mind. Sunshine in my brain, making everyone complain. Radio in the heart, don't be being so strange. Think I'm losing. sucks there with making me nervous um brad's one of my favorite pod safe artists and uh i've listened to his music for quite some time um one of the few who i've actually sort of gone out and then bought the album because i like the uh 
the samples of the music that I've heard. But that's what it's all about. If they give us a little bit to get us um, interested and then um, we go out and spread the good word. Um, going to be a short show today because uh, I got in late and, um, well, that's my excuse. <laughs> but what I wanted to, to make you aware of, it's not something that's going to work particularly well on the podcast, but it's a bit of a bit of homework for you. Um, I just saw on the BBC site today um, a news story about a paraglider who um, who is flying over the Himalayas, and as he's flying, he's um, come into contact with two vultures. One of the vultures actually getting snagged up in the riggings for his parachute. Um, it makes a very interesting video to watch. And, uh, yeah, go to the BBC website and have a look at the, um, the the most viewed videos and have a look at that one. It's quite a scary experience. Well, that's another show up and done. Um, Lance and I, I believe, will be back up with you again tomorrow. ta <laughs> You can call the Dumb Down Life crew on 07-092-274-759. You can follow us on Twitter. Our account name is Dumb Down Life. The email address is ddl.podshow at gmail.com. The website address is www.dumbdownlife.com.